Today, I'm starting radiation treatment for a recurrence of prostate cancer. So let's follow that journey here on Mark's Prostate Cancer Experience. Well, it's a beautiful morning here in Asheville, North Carolina, and um, today's also the first day of the next part of Mark's Prostate Cancer Experience because today I start five days of radiation treatment to treat a possible recurrence of prostate cancer. Um, as I did with my original surgery, I'm gonna to try to document as much of this uh, proton experience, this radiation experience as possible. And uh, as I go through it, I'll be discussing more about what led up to this point and where things are at, et cetera. And uh, this series is really designed to help any of you out there that are facing prostate cancer either before or after surgery as to what some of the uh, experiences are. But for now, we're gonna start this beautiful North Carolina morning. I'm on my way to Knoxville, Tennessee to the Thompson Proton Center where I'll be receiving my radiation starting today. So now I am settled in for my two hour drive, which is the distance between Nashville, North Carolina and Knoxville. And um, so in these two hours, it's a good time to just sort of reflect a little bit, um, think about the day ahead, uh, think about what all this means, sort of try to get it inside of my head and, and try to figure out, um, you know, state of mind. So first and foremost, uh, I've always been the kind of person whenever I'm faced with a medical issue or I've had very few surgeries in my life, but um, when something happens, um, rather than fear it, I do the exact opposite. I embrace it. Uh, I teach myself or I coax myself into looking forward to it in, in, in a bizarre kind of a way. And what I mean by that is um, I'm looking forward to what's on the other side, the result. So just like when my prostate was removed in 2015, I was just, I was ready for it. I was ready for the battle um, and I won that battle. And, and at least for seven years, it was worry-free. Um, I'm, at, I'm at the point now, my PSA is back to 0 0.3 and I actually just had a PSA on Friday, which is the 13th of January. Uh, today is Monday, the 16th of January, 2023. And so my PSA went from 0.27 to 0.34 back down to point three. So it's, it's hanging steady. It's been that sort of in that range for about a year plus, which is always a good sign. Um, but anyway, um, so, so today is sort of the next step in trying to eradicate whatever remnants are left over of the disease. So just a quick recap, um, back in August, I had a PSMA Polarify test, and this is the new gold standard when it comes to looking for recurrent prostate cancer. Um, it's a dye of some kind that they inject into your system. It's very specific for prostate cancer. So it's really, it's a PET scan, but with a very special dye that's looking for prostate cancer. And even though my PSA is still low, now remember at 0.2 and above, they say it's a possible recurrence and that's probably what's happening, but they never quite know exactly where it is. So um, the PSMA test identified my right ninth rib. It lit up um, and it says there's something here. It didn't find anything in the prostate bed, which is kind of unusual. And um, it's the nature of this disease. It, it, it's very predictable. So the, the, the path that we're uh, chasing down right now is one that says, well, probably because I had a positive margin when I had my prostate removed, but somehow something got up into that rib and it just stuck there and it's been hanging there for two plus years, not really moving, maybe growing a little bit, but very modestly. So um, the idea here is, well, to get that PSA down, if I didn't have a PSMA test that pointed somewhere, we probably would just radiate the prostate bed and just hope that that takes care of it. And it maybe wouldn't have. So the easy approach, if you can call it that, is to radiate the rib. Uh, it's a much easier radiation treatment than let's say the prostate bed. In my case, it's five treatments with proton therapy, which is a very specialized targeted um, uh, radiation. And it's kind of new. Um, there's only a handful of proton radiation centers in the world. 
uh, the most of them, most of them are here in the United States, but luckily for me, two hours from my home in Knoxville, Tennessee, um, there's the Thompson Proton Center. So anyway, that's where I'm headed today. And um, so back to state of mind. Well, I'm, uh, as anybody would be, I'm annoyed with the fact that I'm still dealing potentially with prostate cancer um, and I want to be done with it. And so, so uh, there's many emotions that are playing at the same time. Uh, one of them, of course, is frustration, but also I'm a realist. I, I realize that, you know, the world is as it is. We can't change certain things. Um, if you're a follower of God, you certainly will find yourself always in God's hands. Um, I find myself basically, um, I have strength. I am determined to do this. Uh, there certainly is fear. There certainly is worry. Um, I do think about this a lot, but it, it's not consuming me. And so if there were ever a message that I could share with any of you uh, when it comes to prostate cancer, whether it's the initial diagnosis or the surgery or recurrence later on, is um, you can't give up. Um, the, the great thing is medical science has evolved so much just in the past five years since I had my surgery seven years ago. Even since then, the technology has advanced. They can detect it uh, very precisely. They can treat it. There's a really good chance um, if you're diagnosed with prostate cancer today, early enough, um, it's not what will kill you. Um, you'll be able to live with it uh, indefinitely until something else uh, takes your life naturally, hopefully many, many years and decades down the road. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm rambling on a little bit here, but um, I'm eager to get the treatment done. Um, I, I'd be lying if I said, you know, there's not a little bit of fear. Uh, I have the confidence I'm in the best of hands. I'm confident that um, this will be something that, even if there's follow-up treatment, we'll, we'll figure it out, we'll work it out. Um, and it's just one thing to kind of get out of the way so I can get back to enjoying life. So, by the way, my t-shirt, for those of you that love Bush's Best Beans, um, this is my lucky t-shirt. Uh, Bush's Beans are, uh, they're headquartered just outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. And by accident, I was driving by on a country road and they have a visitor center there and there's a tour of the Bush's legacy, um, how beans are made, the whole harvesting. And of course, there's a shop with all this merchandise. So I picked up some of these Bush's best beans, but I've declared this to be my lucky bean shirt. And uh, I'll be eating some Bush's beans every day during this treatment, just for that luck. So whatever, right? That kind of superstition. Anyway, I've rambled on enough for today. Uh, I will be posting every day this week. Uh, I'll be sharing with you my experiences, my thoughts, uh, how I'm feeling. Uh, I'll try to get video inside the center itself, and in particular the Proton machine, which is this apparently this posing machine. And this way, if this is something you ever have to go through yourself, uh, you'll have seen it before. Uh, you'll have gotten the Mark Zilbert uh, account of what it was all about, and hopefully it will help you uh, just as much as, uh, as it can. So anyway, um, let's get some nice shots of the beautiful Smoky Mountains before we hit Knoxville. And so here we are. Let's do this. Hi there. How's it How you doing? Are you ready for me? I am. <gasps> what is <laughs> this? This is your badge. This is how you'll check in every day. Okay. You'll take the flip side of that, the scanner underneath this black scanner over here. It'll be for the bottom up. Is that my first time? Yep. Perfect. Ta -da. Let the team know that you're here. Fantastic. So folks, here we are. Um, this is the proton radiation machine, and uh, it's so high tech, and this is something you don't see a lot of parts of the country. So here at the 
Thompson Center. They have one of the few in the region, but I mean, it's something right out of a science fiction movie. So this right here is gonna take my prostate cancer away and I'm looking forward to it. So let's do this. Yay! So that's it. All done for my first day. And uh, hair's looking a little messy from lying down, but um, I'm gonna go now and just put some of my notes together and share with you everything that I can remember from today. All right, so here we go. So anyway, today was a very simple day. Um, I showed up at the Proton Center um, and um, basically they do a CT scan a week before in preparation. They call it a, a simulation. And what that does is that's cre that creates an image that the doctors and engineers can work with to sort of create software, if you will, for how the radiation will enter your body and attack that area. Now, proton radiation is quite interesting because it really targets a very fine area with very minimal disruption to the tissues around it. The other topic you hear about is photon uh, radiation. And what happens is the energy of a photon beam uh, that goes through your body, uh, it's the same energy from when it enters your body to go through all the tissues and organs and exits the other side. Uh, whereas proton, it, uh, it's modulated, so it's weaker when it enters the body, it's strongest when it hits the organ, or the, uh, in my case, the rib where it's trying to radiate, and then, uh, and apparently, doesn't really do a lot of damage. So basically, it's a really cool machine. It's very high tech. Um, you get in this room, it's sort of a, it reminds me of something of um, Space Odyssey 2001. It's this kind of round, white, room and the machine itself kind of rotates around it. For those of you that have been through radiation, you will have seen things before. Uh, this one is sort of that on steroids. But um, what I, um, the experience uh, was actually quite simple. There's no noise. You lie down on a table. Um, there's a mold that's been made for your body. And um, they radiate, in my case, they did one minute of radiation with the beam coming one way. Think about when you're at the dentist and they move that thing around and they position it. Well, this is sort of the futuristic version of that. It's all done by computers. So they put it in a position, they radiate for about a minute, um, and then they move it to a different position and they radiate. And this has all been orchestrated, the computer, software, technology. Uh, every, every, every moment of that beam from its weaker um, modulation or its weaker strength when it enters your body until it hits the actual area of focus uh, is contrived and deliberate. Um, I didn't feel anything. As a matter of fact, you know, when you have an MRI or when you have a CT scan, you kind of know when it's happening. The MRI, of course, makes this real sort of crazy noise and the CT machine really kind of spins around you and you kind of see it. Um, this is nothing. You don't hear anything. You don't feel anything. And when it's over, uh, you're quite surprised. So um, I'm a few hours post-treatment, I, I don't feel anything, there's no side effects, and apparently um, in these five days I won't really feel anything. Uh, apparently within a couple of weeks maybe the area where the radiation entered, sort of the area where my ribs are, will um, become a little sensitive. Uh, they say it feels like a sunburn, but that's pretty much it. So um, if the rest of this week goes like today did, then I'll be very happy. But I will be posting an update every day this week just to kind of share my experience. And what I like to do, and the reason I made my original video in 2015 and now in 2023, I'm making this one, is to really just kind of share where my mindset is at, um, what um, uh, my emotional state is, and all that goes with that. So, so basically, you know, I left there uh, feeling quite happy, uh, feeling like we're, we will potentially make some progress. Um, I was somewhat elated that the experience was a no-brainer. I mean, it was, a, it, it was a nothing experience in the sense that uh, given other treatments I've had in the past for different things, there's always something you remember. Even a blood draw, you know, the needles in there, there's the bandage, et cetera. Um, so this was very benign. There really is nothing to to feel um, other than when you walk out of there knowing as of today, 20% of the treatment plan has already taken place. So that's it. I'm rambling, of course. 
Um, I hope this is useful to you and um, I will start reading all the comments below and anything else that I can do to help any of you, let me know. Thanks.